What's going on, Clutch? Squat! What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy, Ross. We are in the Clutch. Hey, hey, back to ladies and gentlemen of the video today. You feel me? So this has been circulating. Yeah, it has. On uh, social medias. Mm -hmm. My man's here says, you know, he has <clears throat> seven kids mm -hmm. and seven with seven different baby mamas. And mm -hmm. he's like, uh, I told all of them I wasn't trying to have no kids with them. And they didn't want to listen. So I'm not in those kids' lives. Interesting. So we're we're gonna see exactly what he said, and uh, we'll give our our thoughts and our opinions on this uh, this situation, and uh, we'll have that dialogue with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, so. Yeah, definitely interested to hear the conversations that come along with this one. So let's go. Mm -hmm. I got seven kids and seven baby mamas. All right. Now for the past few days, That's I've been lot. going live, telling mm -hmm. my story, <clears throat> speaking my truth, and a lot of women having an issue calling me a dead. I got the same color. You stupid. Bro. <laughs> I ain't got no kids and a beard. I ain't got no kids, so. Yeah. <laughs> Beard and blue. You ain't got no kids. Because I tell them I was being irresponsible, yet yeah, not wearing protection. But I, I always tell uh, these women that I got pregnant that I do not want to be a father to these children. And I offer to pay for the abortion. Majority of times, they'll either take the <laughs> abortion or they'll take a plan B. But only these seven have kept these children. But the crazy thing about it is they want me to be responsible for some children I told them I did not want. So for some years now, some of them been wow. trying to get in contact with me. Access denied. Because <clears throat> I, I don't really wow. know why you're trying to get in contact with me. I didn't told you I did not want them kids. So don't expect me to be responsible financially, emotional, spiritually, mentally, or physically with some kids I do not want. And I don't give a fuck. When nobody think about it, you're not going to force children up on me. Yeah, we both made the decision to lay down and have intercourse. We both was irresponsible about the decisions we made that night. Yeah, I could have pulled out, but I didn't. And I ain't care to but pull I out. Didn't. Because I'm not the one that's going to have to carry a baby <clears throat> for nine months. Damn. It's the woman. In my opinion, women should be more careful on who they sleep with. Because you're going to be like, one of my baby mamas trying to find me so I can financially support a kid I didn't told her or them I did not want. Another thing is, these just jump offs. Damn. These are the type of women that I ain't even wow. had to do nothing for. The mm. bad minimum, but they gave me access to their body. And they think I want to be a, a father to a child for one of them. Whew. But I don't even have no type of love for these women. How do they expect me to love these children? Before y'all say, oh, he irresponsible, he a deadbeat, he don't take accountability. Yeah, I do. I just don't give a fuck. You ain't gonna force these wow. children on me when I told you I ain't <clears> want them. <throat> yeah, I can offer to a pay for abortion, but at what point can I force a woman to go get an abortion? I cannot. Mm -hmm. A woman say, my body, my choice, but I say, it's my <clears> life, <throat> my choice. Before y'all try to stitch this shit and be like, black man this, black man that, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. Wow. Damn. <laughs> yeah, no. But I always tell. Uh, yeah, nah, he clearly don't care. He nah. He he don't give two f's. And uh, it's like. So I pose the question. <laughs> who 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 does the blame go to? Who whose fault is it? Who who do you blame in this situation? And I will say, because I want you to start off by answering that, mm -hmm. since you kind of like your twin. Um, he's not my twin. <laughs> The children lose at the end of the day. Yeah, the, the kids do lose. I'll, I'll just say that. The, at the end of the day, regardless of who do you who you pick and say, oh, well, mm -hmm. he's right or well, she right, mm -hmm. whatever, the kids lose. Mm -hmm. I just want to say that first. But. Yeah, no, nah, uh, you're right. The, the children do lose in that situation. I, I think it, it really falls on the woman in the sense of, yes, she decided to lay up with someone and clearly, you know, if these are what he's saying to be potential, like just someone that's easy, they they willingly chose to, you know, go forward forward with that, knowing what type of duty he is. Cause at right. the end of the day, we gotta we gotta call a spade a spade. There are sometimes women they will lay up with someone that they know ain't really trying to do you know, ain't really trying to build nothing with you. But right. it's just on some yeah. You know, we hear we're getting we, our rocks off. Yeah, we're getting our rocks off. That's just what it is. And then, if you willingly choose, if you know as a woman that he ain't got no condom, 
and you choose to go forward, now you putting yourself at risk of, you know, maybe just, you know, uh, you know, a potential sexually uh, transmitted d- disease mm-hmm. or, you know, just, you know, potentially ending up getting pregnant. Though These are things that happen. Right. So it's like these are all these places are, you know, kind of set and you're just kind of going through them. Mm-hmm. So when the child comes or when you find out you get pregnant and the guy's like, uh, I don't, I don't want to be there. I'm not I don't want this kid. Let me get an abortion. I'll do what I got to do. And you say no. It's like, all right, well, that's your choice. It's your body. But now when it comes to later down the line and you're trying to get that support <laughs> and you, you're mm-hmm. trying to, you want that child to have that, that relationship with their father or whatever the case may be mm-hmm. and he's not there, it's like it kind of falls on you. Yeah, it's still messed up that, you know, he doesn't want to be a part of the child's life, you know, and that kind of sucks. But at the same time, he told you what he was right you feel me it'd be different if he just lied and said oh yeah you know what I'm saying i'm gonna be there boom 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 boom, boom. and then when the child comes the around hope you then it's like ah nah i'm good you know what i'm saying but if he told you <clears throat> he was a dog and you chose to sleep with a dog then you can't be surprised when rough rough happened yeah you know what i'm saying when when a dog acts like a dog like you can't be surprised there now because He's already told you everything you needed to know prior to y'all doing whatever y'all ended up doing. So it yeah. it, it, it it more so falls on the woman in the situation because she ultimately has the right to say no to everything beyond, you know, having sex. If she, if she wants to have sex, she can. If she wants to have sex with you with a condom, she can do that. If you don't right. have a condom and she don't want to do it, then she's like, no, she don't have to do it. But it's kind of her decision there. Yeah, I mean, it it it, it, it is a truth to it. Mm-hmm. Um, his delivery towards it, I don't really necessarily like. Yeah. Um, because that just sounds like a irresponsible type of dude. Yeah, that, no, that for just, sure. You know, you want to be able to have sex with you know what and whoever, and just you know, it's consequences to everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally everything. Um, so if you don't want to have to deal with the whole children thing. He needs to stop, stop having sex. Yeah, stop having sex or use a damn condom too. So I think it, it falls on he gets a percentage of the yeah of the blame yeah, too for one, sure. You know, it's not gonna be so happy or funny in a video when you catch something mm-hmm. because you're having sex with people without mm-hmm. protection, which you know whatever that's your life. But women shouldn't be like you said. You you whip in the car, <clears> right? <throat> you come to pick me up, or. I see you when I need a ride and you mm-hmm. say, Hey, it's hot in here. Mm-hmm. I got some illegal. Mm-hmm. You warn me. I get in the car anyway. Oh, I have the option at that choice. Nah, because if we get pulled over, uh, if I agree to get in the car with you anyway, and then we get pulled over and then I go to jail with you, I accepted the responsibility that come with whatever yeah. you had in the car. I can't act like no, I ain't know. You know, I can't necessarily do mm-hmm. that. So that to me is where I take the women who are sleeping with him responsible because you're choosing to take that risk. Mm-hmm. And I just wish people would refrain mm-hmm. from dealing with people with a certain mentality. Mm-hmm. So that way they would just dry out. You know, I mean it's gonna always be somebody he can go to. But mm-hmm. for the you know, real ones, you gotta understand. It's a lot of dudes that think like this. Mm-hmm. It's a very high percentage of dudes that's like, "Hey, I had sex with you. I didn't. Want, I told you I wasn't in the position to take care of no kids, so that's on you." Mm-hmm. You got to kind of establish those type of relationships with people before you decide to take that soul time uh, journey with mm-hmm. a person. So I think it is we're making sex so easily accessible now. This type of men- mentality is like cancerous it's mm-hmm. growing and growing and it's going to continue because mm-hmm. we don't value uh intimacy anymore mm-hmm. we just fling that damn thing out like a rubber band mm-hmm. like it ain't nothing that's being you know it's not special no more to me mm-hmm. from what i see on social media and people don't really put it in that they don't hold it up to that regard it's really just going giving out hell you can go to a bar and get a couple drinks and end up getting some mm-hmm. you know it's, it's really no value to it anymore mm-hmm. and with that there's always a consequence come niggas like this. Yeah. And for those that are, you know, a, a victim of situations like this, I feel sorry for the child. Because at the end of the day, the child loses. The child is not able to grow up into a two-parent 
mm-hmm. one minded household or or joint minded household. No, nah, they're dealing with a mom who wasn't supposed to get pregnant and a dad who don't even care about you mm-hmm. or your existence. So those are the type of situations. I'm only I'm always and only thinking about the children because mm-hmm. no matter what we do as men, our mistakes and our issues and things a lot of times kind of, you know, lead over to what our children have to experience mm-hmm. and what they miss out on. He missing out on a dad. Those are seven kids is missing out on the father figure. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know, I don't know if there's grandfathers, uncles or whatever that cousins, you know, hopefully there is somebody to kind of, you know, help and nurture them. But no, you see your dad on the video going viral because he's talking about how much he said he wanted you to get aborted. I think about things like that. Cause like, damn, what could that do to a person? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what that feels like, so I can never say. Mm-hmm. But if I was to see my dad for the first time on a video or a past video, talking about how he told my mom he wanted to get me aborted or whatever, and that's why he ain't dealing with me, that would hit on so many levels. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So at the end of the day, we got to be mindful of our actions and what we saying and doing because other there's causes, there's repercussions to that. You feel me? And there's consequences for every action. So, mm-hmm. not to try to make this longer than what I expected is, but there's responsibility on both parts. Oh, but for sure. If women are to refrain from dealing with men like that, those type of dudes will be less active. Yeah, bro. And it's just one of those things where it's like, it's you gotta, you gotta be able to, and this is for both men and females. Mm-hmm. You gotta be able to understand the caliber of the person you're interacting for with, sure. bro. Like <clears throat> if you interacting with someone that you know is on something more than just you know uh, a smash or a fling session and yeah. you know they trying to build something then you gotta you gotta be real with yourself and be like uh she he or she's on a different time you know what i'm saying i you know i may not want to you know interact with that because they want something different Facts. you feel me so you gotta always be aware of who you're messing with mm-hmm. and like like i was saying these women, I'm sure they knew he wasn't going to give two Fs, you know what I'm saying, as soon right, as they right, laid right. up, but they chose to, and hey, there's consequences. Yeah. And I for him, it. he knew he wasn't about to strap up anytime soon, but he kept doing it because he knew these women weren't, <clears throat> they weren't going to question it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you know, definitely it's just all about really being accountable for, you know what I'm saying, the interactions you have with people and knowing when to be like, you know what, you know, spot like, like you always say, man, spot the, the red flag, spot the signs. Like, oh, sure. you know, I need to abort. So, hey, this is a definitely an interesting... Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> this guy. That was a nice, <laughs> nice time to use the word abort. <laughs> so I want to ask y'all the question. Do y'all... How do y'all feel about this, uh, his situation here? Do y'all yeah, agree y'all with think? what he, you know, how he feels? Do you feel like he's in the right? Or do you feel like he should hold some uh, accountability for the women that he got pregnant and, and be there for the, those children? Let me, let us know down below, man. As, in, as usual, man, I'm very interested to see what you guys are thinking. I for definitely sure. will be reading the comments. I want to see mm-hmm. what you guys think, you know, pick y'all brains and see how do y'all feel. Mm-hmm. When it comes to these type of conversations, because this outside of this one, it's a lot of these mm-hmm. that's going on. So, but I will say as well before we get off here, uh, when one of them seven kids do become a billionaire, don't try to claim them then. That's this it. This is true. Just keep that same energy. Keep the same energy, bro. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure, if not all seven, one of them will make this and flip it into something positive, mm-hmm. and they're gonna mm-hmm. go back to you and say, "Hey, I was that one you wanted to abort." Mm-hmm. You never know. You never know. You never, never know, know who you raising. Mm-hmm. So that's be very careful with that. But hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Continue to spread love, be love. We all about love here in the clutch. Continue to let everything that you want happen. Pray for all the blessings uh, to come to all you guys, man. Continue to support us. Roll to a milli, and we almost there. Catch y'all. Peace. Already, man. <laughs> Bitches from Houston If you got a problem Then we got the solutions And there's no illusion I made this shit happen I'm living life lucid I'm switching my strategies Now they hate on me Cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know They can't handle half of me